Welcome back to NC Bass, and today we're on Lake Norman. Last weekend we had a lot of rains up the Catawba River, cha River chain, and the lakes are flooded. Luckily, Lake Norman is still below full pool, barely, but it's very high, and as you guys can see, very muddy. But I like it when it's muddy, and it can't be no worse than last week. And the good news is I got the lake to myself, or at least up here at Queens Landing, there's not a boat up here. Hopefully I can catch some fish. It could be tough because the muddy water and spots hate muddy water, but it can't be no worse than last week and it should push the fish up a little bit shallow where i can actually catch them hopefully i can figure them out and catch something over two pounds it's been since may 8th since i was like at lake hickory that i've caught a fish over two pounds it's sad i'm in the slump right now if i can catch some fish today i'll be happy especially if i can catch one over two pounds when the water's muddy like this it's easier to trick these smart fish in lake norman Let's see how it goes there we go he's got me wrapped little jig fish Yes. Fish, starting to worry. I haven't been throwing a jig, but a couple of casts. Been trying to throw the crankbait in top waters, it ain't been working. He wrapped me around the pole for a second, but got him. Yeah, he's not a big guy, but compared to what I've been catching, I'll take him. Better than nothing. Little right baits minima jig. It's real small and compact. It's perfect for Lake Norman. I put a little rattle on it since it's so muddy. Hopefully this thing will keep producing. You can catch some big ones on a jig. God, he bit it reeling it in. Yes. The jig is, look at that. Is that the fish I just lost? There's a huge, look at that large mouth, beat up. Oh my, can you guys see that on camera? It's like a four pound largemouth right there just swimming black as night with big sores on him. Let's see if I can get him to eat. He might be thinking about. Oh, I spooked him. I spooked him. Well, I lost one off camera on the jig and that little guy hit it when I was reeling it in. Maybe I should swim the jig. He's not even 14 inches. But I'm just happy. I already caught more than I did last week. Oh my God, there's that big large mouth, dude. God! No! No! God, that was that same dark black largemouth that, God, I reeled the jig right past his face and he killed it. God, oh, nice one. Coming right at me. Feels like a good one. And he's just a spot, a decent spot though. Oh yeah, nice spot. Yes, they are eating the jig. Think you wanted that jig, guys? That minimum jig. Even the spots get it down easy. That's what I like about it. Compact jig. Yeah, no, no damage at all done. Nice one. That fish. Seven, 17 and a half skinny as a rail though might be two pounds that might be the biggest fish I've caught in a month God. he about pulled the rod out of my hands spot way back and I lost him how many fish am I going to lose? Big spot. Man. How am I losing fish on the jig? There we go. Nah, he's not that big. Glad. It's about to make a move. They're chewing it today, guys. If I could get a fish in, look where I hooked that one. I mean, I think I could hook them. Usually when you hook a fish, you might miss a fish on the jig, but if you hook them, they're usually in the boat. 
weird today. He ain't big at all, but the way this lake's been fishing, I will definitely take him. Not even a keeper. Still fun. There. Finally, something on a crankbait. And he's tiny. Well, call it a white perch and a tiny spot. God, he was all the way up the lake with it by the time I noticed. Well, that'll work. I lost my crawl color jig. And he ate the black and chartreuse minima jig, so it's showing they'll eat it. That fish picked it up and was swimming to the lake with it. Seems like the ones I'm missing are the ones I hook really close to the boat. He needed a meal bad. I think I'm really starting to like in this muddy water, guys. Throw some sin on it. I think it really helps it stand out. That fish is super skinny. Kind of swimming it, hopping it through there. I'm telling you guys, I can't get a bite on nothing but a jig. And I think this might be the most spots I've ever caught on a jig. I've had some good days on Lake Lookout with a jig with their long, large mouth. It's a tiny guy, but the only thing they'll eat is the jig. I threw a spinner bait through there just a minute ago. They just want the jig. They're not chasing anything, they're right on targets. They're close to close to cover. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Set my rod down, was texting. And this guy just scooped it up. He wasn't on there either, I was reeling in and he bit it. I need to try a swim jig, they're, they're biting it. Hooked him in the bottom lip. He's blind in one eye, that might be why I got lucky, but that's crazy. Well guys, midday update. Just caught that fish with my bait just sitting still and I went to reel it in. But at least the fish are biting today in the mud. They're not very big. I mean, that fish isn't big at all, but catching spots on a jig, which is surprising. I need to try to see if they will hit the Ned rig. I doubt it with the, as muddy as the water is. Need more action, but a little minimum jig is killing because it's so small and compact. These spots will eat it up. I'm surprised I ain't caught a few largemouth. Having a decent day though. The rain, I've been real lucky. The rain has stayed to the east of us. It's starting to rain a little bit now, but it ain't too bad. Hopefully it doesn't rain real hard and the fish keep biting. I need a big largemouth. I lost that big largemouth I seen. I seen him on a dock before and I spooked him and he was on the next dock and threw right to him and he ate it. That fish was probably pushing four pounds. It was a big one. But I'm about to go up to the 150 bridge and try to catch some on moving baits. I'm gonna try to get a cranking bite going. If not though, I can always go to the jig and throw it on the docks. I still haven't really been on a pattern on them if they're on the walkway. I caught them on the walkways, midway on the dock and the end on the poles. So I haven't really got a good pattern and I've caught a couple just out in the middle of the like that one was just out away from the dock. It's cloudy, water's muddy, they should be on targets. Fish on the crankbait, man. He's tiny. Look at that large mouth. Oh, and I lost him. But, catch him cranking. There's one on the Ned rig. A big TRD though. Be a little better than no. that. This thing caught one on a spinning rod. Day felt a little bigger. Front's moving in, guys. This is when you need to fish. I'll have to check the radar, make sure we're not about to get soaked. Got one on the big TRD. Or a little guy. At least I'm catching something. Good fish. I believe as soon as that thing hit the water, now he's not really fighting that much. Be the biggest fish of the day. I'm telling you that. Oh, and he come off! God! Speed traps and muddy water bait kills, but you got junk hooks that come on, you gotta replace them. 
Oh yeah. We got him on the deep diver. He's not very big though, at all. This thing has better hooks. I'm actually almost getting them in. I'd like to know how big that big one was. Probably two pounds. It's summertime. These fish fight hard. But definitely a spot. He never jumps. They're stacked up here. Perth Road Bridge. Yeah, that was quick. They are stacked over here. Didn't even get the bait down to the rocks. He hit it about one foot under the water. It's not big, but he's aggressive. Not big at all. Baby spotted bass. On this little Damiki 300, I can't remember what it's called. But they stopped making this color, but I really like this color. It's purple and chartreuse. Sticks out. There's one right there. They're stacked. They're little though. He might be a little bit bigger. Stack right here on this windy, rocky bank. The wind's blowing right into this side. I caught some on the other side though where it's making that current come out the back side. Loading the boat with tiny guys. Tell he's already been caught somewhere. I'm sure that was a triple hook bait there. Let's see if I can get some on something else. There we go. God, oh, that might be a catfish. It's fighting like a cat. Or a big spot one. Definitely fighting like a cat. Nope. Nice spot. Big old spot. I'm gonna try flipping. Yes! Woo! Biggest fish on the Ned Rig. Who would have thought? There we go. Yeah, buddy. That's a chunk there. Oh, they're on the pilings too. Might be the biggest one too. The big ones are on the pilings. Nice. Uh, solid he ain't that big they all feel big on a spinning rod hey we're working on a decent five fish limit though and by decent i mean like seven and a half pounds <laughs> he's the third biggest god they're stacked right there Little guy, and he ate it. <laughs> Unhooked himself. God, he's got me a wrap. He's got me a wrap, but he come loose. Afraid my line, probably. And now he's got me wrapped again. Well, it's a bad thing about fluorocarbon. I'm sure it's frayed. If he'd have been any bigger. So at the end of that pole when he wrapped around the pole. That happened to me last week on the drop shot in the tournament. Look at the size. These fish will eat anything, guys. Look at the size crawl he's throwing up. I was throwing the right color jig earlier. Look at the size of the claw of a crawfish that this fish has ate. That shows how aggressive these fish are. They will, I'm telling you, that's probably like a six inch crawfish he ate. And this fish is 12 inches long. Those spots are aggressive. There we go. Oh, that is the skinniest, messed up looking largemouth I've ever seen. But, oh my god, poor fish. That thing looks rough. 
There's a post spawn, almost starved to death fish. God, it looks pitiful. Man, I want to get him in a pitcher, but he might be two pounds though. I gotta check. Fish on. Man, I guess I gotta pause it. Heat it on the pause. Like I'm wintertime fishing. Oh, that's a toad. That's a good fish right there. If there's a large mouth or a spot. Let's see if I can actually get one in on a crane bait. Oh, he ain't that big. He's not big at all. Man. I thought he was a giant. He's the fourth biggest of the day, probably. Oh, my gosh. He's little, though. They're biting. They're small, but... There's one. There we go. I was about to say the crankbait bite's picking up. I need to. Oh my God! What a spot! What a spot! This this is huge. This could be my PB spot. And he broke my line. How did that happen, guys? Oh, you got to retie. I've been in the rocks all day. His teeth, he had it. He probably didn't swallow it. He had it way down in his mouth. Talk about a day of failing. I've lost so many fish. I've lost two jigs now. Well, didn't have the camera going. There's a oh, rough looking fish there. So skinny. He's been weighed in in a tournament. I'm sure that five pound spot I just lost was released at Queen's Landing. Ah, that fish looked rough. Go. Really? He bit it when I reel it, was reeling it up. Must have bite it again. Oh, he's got it. That time. And they're eating the jig. Not a bad sized fish. He bit it twice. I'll take him. Man, they are chewing right now, guys. I got the lake to myself. He's only a 15 incher. Oh, he's had me wrap on something. And I lost him. Man, that was a brown looking spot. Looks like a little smally, but it's muddy water. God, he, he's little. Swimming it through there and he nailed it. God, I thought he was big because he just yanked the line out. In my trailer, that fish has been caught quite a few times. Poor guy. Well, guys, call it a day. Didn't get any bites there at the end of the day started pouring down rain a little bit of I heard thunder a little bit but the, the fish really stopped biting when it really started pouring down rain but they were biting today I caught five or so on this I'm starting to like this thing I think it's gonna be a great summertime bait for me it's small enough for these spots but it can still get down to 16 feet and the bait that done it today was this I had a good day most spots I've ever caught on a jig ever at Lake Norman they were biting it today they were on the poles on the walkways, they're here and there, everywhere. It's pouring down right now, guys. But I had a medium heavy and 12 pound fluoro. Maybe that was the problem with the big ones because they hit it close to the boat and come at me and I lost them. And that spot I lost, that broke me off. I had probably had some frays in my line, but that was a big spot. It was skinny, it was probably three and a half, four pounds, but it had the body of a five pound spot all day. It was post falling and skinny, but that was a big spot. No telling how big it was. You know, when you lose them, they double their size. But this little minima jig killed it today. Little compact jig. You get, a lot of finesse jigs will work. They, I'm lucky today wasn't a tournament because I would have been fast fishing. I had to slow down and really let this thing fall all the way down. A lot of times they hit on the fall, but sometimes they hit it on the, on the bottom. Ah. I'm just glad it wasn't a tournament because I lost 
two fish that were probably four pounds. That largemouth was just swimming back and forth with big sores on his back. I seen him at one dock, 150 yards down, he bites my, he right beside the boat and bites my bait. Well, it was a good day. I'm glad that I get out here and I had the lake to myself. I love when I when it's raining, I had the lake to myself. There's not a person in the parking lot. I love it. It was a good day, even though I lost some big fish, but it wasn't a tournament. Hopefully I can figure out some big fish. I've got some confidence in the jig for next week in a tournament. If you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.